be careful. Yo, what's going on? It's someone that's no one, and welcome back to today's report. Today's report is coming from Prospect off Earwood. When this happened, 2010, the drug used was JWH250 at a dose of 20 milligrams. The route administration was through an oil pipe. Gender, male. Weight, 235 pounds. Age, 23. Prior experience includes cannabis and spice, and the setting is at home. So here we are doing another spice report where, well, we actually know the chemical, unlike the past reports. I believe someone may have requested this, or just a spice report in general. And this experience also happens to be an overdose, and we'll break everything down at the end. So I think you guys are going to like this one, and without further ado, let's dive right into it. I've had experience with marijuana for many years now, and as JWH250 is a synthetic cannabinoid, I will compare my experience with it to my experience with marijuana. To clarify, this experience is about pure form JWH250, as in the powder, it is not a herbal blend. It's basically another synthetic cannabinoid, similar to the popular JWH018, which I have never smoked in pure form, only mixed in herbal blends like Spice and K2. Therefore, I cannot directly compare it to pure JWH018. I acquired 0.25 grams of pure JWH250. From my own research online, I deducted that the average dose was about 8 milligrams. I however, don't have a scale that is accurate to 1 1,000th 1, of a place, so I was not able to accurately measure the doses. I just kinda eyeballed it. To smoke this stuff, you need a meth slash crack pipe. I don't smoke those substances, so I had to go buy one and I wasn't even really sure how to use it. I fumbled with it for a few minutes, but by the time I had the hand of it, I had about 20 milligrams estimate of the substance in the pipe. I lit up. After one hit. Seconds after the first hit, I already felt stoned. It was the kind of stoned feeling I get when I eat a marijuana brownie. I feel very stoned, but it's more physical than mental. I can actually think pretty straight, but my body feels stoned. That's not to say I wasn't mentally impaired as well, just that the physical aspect of it was much stronger. Now it's impossible to tell how many milligrams exactly I took on the first hit. When I heat the substance up, it turns into an oil, and then if I heat it long enough, it evaporates. After my first hit, there was still a lot of visible oil left inside the pipe, which meant I could probably take another 2-3 to three hits. So I'd estimate my first hit was maybe 6 milligrams. Overall, it was a pleasant high, no problems. Yet. After 3-4 to four hits, I smoked the rest of the oily substance, which took me about 3 hits to finish up. This is when I started having problems. The JWH hit me really hard. Keep in mind I have smoked for years now and never felt like I got too high, even if it was the best quality bud. But with this JWH250, I was definitely way 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 too high. I lay in bed for about an hour with intense paranoia and fear. I was so completely out of it. I was so far away from reality, I couldn't comprehend it. I just had to feel it. I know this sounds like a good thing, but it's not. It's like it gets me so stoned. I forget that what I'm experiencing is the result of intoxication. When I'm stoned on weed, I know all the goofy things I do and experience are just because of the weed. I know it will wear off in an hour or so. I still firmly maintain my sense of reality while on weed, but with this, I'm so out of touch with reality, I begin to panic and start to think that I'm going to be in this state of stonedness forever. As I lay in bed, I cannot close my eyes because every time I did, it felt like I was being sucked into a vortex to outer space. It was very frightening. Throughout the experience, sometimes I let go of the fear and just tried to enjoy the experience. When I did this, it felt pleasant. I felt like I was floating, but fear and paranoia soon returned to ruin the experience. Overall, I probably only enjoyed 20% of the trip. The rest, I was just too afraid to really enjoy. Most of the time, I found myself praying for the effect to end so I could just be normal again. After about an hour after the trip, I began to calm down and eventually fell asleep. 
I woke up the next day feeling a bit groggy and depressed, but by the middle of the day, I felt relatively normal, if not a little spaced out. So yes, this is technically a bad trip, I just handled it as best I could. An inexperienced or young user would probably trip out so badly doing this, I can only imagine. This is probably the type of thing that scars you for life if you're not prepared to deal with it. As for the cause of the bad trip, I think evidently I smoked too much. Like I said, it was around 20 milligrams total, and the recommended dosage for this is typically no more than 6 to 8 milligrams. Since my first experience, I have smoked it again, but this time in a much lesser quantity, around 8 milligrams or so. The effects of a moderate dose are much more pleasant. It's similar to weed, but different. Overall, in terms of effectiveness and quality of the high, I would never choose this over real marijuana. Don't think that because you have a tolerance for weed that you will be able to tolerate a high dose of this stuff. You'll quickly be proved wrong. So here we are with another synthetic cannabinoid, JWH250, similar to the classic JWH018, which if you don't know is considered one of the most popular chemicals identified in the past when spice got banned. But you're probably wondering, okay, so is there a difference between the two? Or how about even beyond just the two? What about the 450 plus JWH chemicals that were made by John W. Huffman? Well, we won't go too deep into that, but one of the main differences, it's a part of a different chemical family, the phenylacetylindoles. To keep it short and simple, the different way the chemical is structured may allow it to be more active and somewhat more potent. It may be possible to come across JWH250 in a herbal incense blend as well as it has been seized before. But that's pretty much what we know of JWH250. It is banned in some areas and under some analog acts. But what is it really? Now looking at this report here and comparing it to other SPICE reports, this one seems to stand out in the way there weren't really any adverse effects beyond the bad trip he had. Now the last report we did, The Lucky Few by Scarecrow, saw a user and his friends use spice outside of school. The dose is unknown, and the use was pretty casual, but led to the users to uncomfortable physical states, and for some, incomprehensible mental states. We do see mention of some visual effects here, but nothing crazy, and there is some fear, but it's more so brought on by the fact his friends were getting arrested. Then when we look to our first spice report, Proceed with Caution by Washbar, where he consumed Cloud9 and K2 Summit, we see that his first experience, he did get somewhat of a satisfying high. He mentions it was interesting, but different from cannabis. He mentions that his thoughts would get scrambled, and he got a consistent, solid couch lock. But after prolonged use, he began to experience hallucinations, along with developing an addiction, and experiencing heart issues. So I think we can see from those comparisons there, the way you use this is going to vary the experience, along with the fact we don't even know which chemicals may have been in those spice blends, which there's so many different cannabinoids today, who knows what effects each one has and how they're all going to differ. But at the end of the day, they tend to provide more risk than what it's worth, potential health damage, along with potential of addiction, and even just a straight up bad experience. So if you guys want to see more on Spice, JWH, or any substance at that, let me know in the comments below and we'll do it. If you guys did like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow the socials, it's been someone that's no one, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.